having a few meals in my freezer already made, ready to go, ready to throw in my slow cooker or my oven, makes my life so much easier. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you along and we're gonna make seven super easy freezer meals. I know for a lot of us, life is about to get super busy with school starting back, and I don't know about you guys, but I love having those meals in my freezer because it's just inevitable. I'm not gonna wanna cook, or we're just gonna get too busy that day, and it just helps so much to have meals already made in my freezer to just throw in the oven and not even have to worry about it. So today, we're gonna head into my kitchen, and we're gonna make some super easy freezer meals. First up, we have Southwestern casserole. And I'm just starting by browning up some ground beef along with some onion. And by the way, I'll have all of the links to the recipes where I found inspiration from down below. So make sure you check there for exact measurements and all of those things. I'm also adding in some minced garlic. Next, we're gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes and a can of Rotel. Next, I'm just adding in one can of drain and rinse kidney beans along with some tomato paste. And then I added in my seasonings, salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder. Next, I'm just gonna give everything a stir. And by the way, while this is simmering away, I have two cups of elbow noodles also cooking up on the stove. Now I'm just preparing my tin full to go on top, and of course I'll write what the recipe is and my directions on how to cook it. So if I need to thaw it, and then of course what temperature I need to bake it at. Once my noodles are finished cooking, I just bring those over to the pan and stir those in along with everything. And now it's time to prepare my pans. So I just like to give them a spray with cooking spray and then I'll just have the recipe. This actually makes two casseroles and that's one easy tip that I have for y'all. Just go ahead and make double of whatever you're making. It takes the same amount of time and then you have two dinners waiting on you in your freezer. I'm gonna top these with some Monterey Jack cheese and then I'll get them covered really tightly with some cling wrap and then my tin full and these are going into the freezer for later. Next up, I'm making a couple of dump and go recipes and the first one is chicken Philly cheesesteaks. So I'm starting by mixing some cornstarch into some chicken broth along with some black pepper and some garlic. I'm just gonna whisk that all up until combined. Next, I just have my gallon size freezer bags here, and to that, I'm gonna add some chicken along with some sliced peppers and onions that I chopped previously, and then we're gonna pour in that chicken broth mixture right on top, and that is it. All I'll have to do is pull this from the freezer, let it thaw overnight, throw into my slow cooker, and I have some chicken Philly cheesesteaks for dinner. So simple, so good too. I got these little baggy clips on Amazon. I'll link those below for y'all, but honestly, a big jug or something like that with the baggy folded over would work just as well. My next dump and go style freezer meal is creamy Italian chicken. And this has to be one of our favorites. And I haven't made it in a while, so I'm excited about it. So to my freezer bag, again, I'm just adding in some chicken breast. Next, we're just gonna add in one little packet of Italian dressing mix. You can get this where the ranch and all that kind of mix is in the store. Then we're gonna add in one block of cream cheese. I like to kind of cube mine up a little bit. And then lastly, two cans of cream of chicken soup. This makes it so creamy, it has so much flavor, and I love to make this in my slow cooker, obviously, and then serve it over some pasta or some rice, and you got a really good dinner.
Next up, we have lasagna casserole. And I have to say, this was a huge hit with our family. So first, I'm just starting again by browning up some ground beef along with some onion. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to this. And once my ground beef is cooked through, I'm gonna add in our favorite pasta sauce. Of course, it's Rayo's. If you haven't tried it, you need to. So I'm gonna get all that pasta sauce out of there and just let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Next to a large separate bowl, I'm just adding in some shredded mozzarella cheese. We're also gonna add some cottage cheese. This absolutely makes it, and you would never guess it's cottage cheese if you have some picky eaters who might not like that. Also, we're gonna add some beaten eggs. We're gonna add some grated Parmesan and some dried parsley. We're gonna mix this all up, and then we're gonna add a whole 16 ounce box of your favorite pasta. We used rotini noodles and it was really, really good with those. Once I have all my pasta mixed in, it's time to assemble the pans. Now for us, we're a family of four and we will not eat a whole nine by 13 size casserole. So I actually split one casserole into two. So maybe if you have a smaller family like us, that's something you could do. Or again, if you have a larger family, just go ahead and make two. It takes the same amount of time. So you saw me split up the pasta evenly into my two pans, and then I'm gonna add the sauce the same way, just half on one, half on the other. And lastly, I'm just gonna sprinkle them both with a little more mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna cover them tightly, and into the freezer they go. We actually had one of these last night, and my kid said, please make this more often, and please use the rotini noodles. So I would say this one is a win. For our last freezer meal today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the most simple chicken enchiladas, starting with a rotisserie chicken. I already have that shredded up, and next we're gonna add in some enchilada sauce. You can use red or green. I'm actually gonna use both for this recipe today, but we're gonna pour in almost a whole can of enchilada sauce. Then we're gonna add in some sour cream, and next, of course, some cheese. I like to use a blend of Mexican, and I use a little bit of cheddar for the top. You'll see in a minute. So I'm just gonna add all those things in and mix all this together, and this is gonna be our filling. Next again, I just have my nine by 13 pan, gave it a little spray of cooking spray, and then I just have 10 flour tortillas over here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of filling in there, roll them up, and put them in the pan. Did that just give anybody else patty cake vibes? Roll them up, roll them up, throw them in the pan? No? Okay, bye, back to cooking. <laughs> Once I've used up all my chicken filling and tortillas, I'm gonna pour on the remaining green enchilada sauce, and then I'm going in with the red enchilada sauce as well. Super delicious, they work really well together if you haven't tried it. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on some more cheese. I had a little bit of Mexican cheese and a little bit of cheddar. Whatever you have will work just fine. I wrapped them up really tightly, and now I have some chicken enchiladas in my freezer also. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And please let me know, are you into freezer meals? Would you like to see more of these videos? If you like this one, give me a thumbs up, comment, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. Bye y'all.
shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care 